What if I'm given more than one um, component here? So let's do something that looks like three stacked spheres. <laughs> I know, someday I'll have better drawing skills, but it is not today. And these three stacked spheres have a radius of 800 millimeters. Of 1040 millimeters and 1400 millimeters. So these are all spheres. And then sphere one has a mass of 0.55 kilograms. Mass two, 1.21 kilograms and mass three 2.95 kilograms all right I want to find the composite mass center IG Okay, the solution is going to be parallel axis theorem. So IG composite is going to equal the sum of the parts IGI plus MIDI squared. All right? So the very first thing that I need to find is where the mass center is for my shape. I'm going to do this vertically from the bottom. So I'm going to set that as distance Z bar. Okay. And Z bar is equal to the sum of each mass and their centroid divided by the mass of the entire thing. Right? So that is going to be working bottom to top. 2.95 times 1400 plus... 1.21 times 2 times 1400 plus 1040 plus 0 0.55 times 2 times 1400 plus 2 times 1040 plus 800 right so I need to move a diameter, right, for each sphere, and then up to the very, very top, all divided by the sum of the masses, 2.95 plus 1.21 plus 0 0.55. And my math tells me that from the bottom, the mass center is located at 2,526.6 millimeters. So that is my Z bar, 2526.6 millimeters. Now that I know where that is, I can bring each individual sphere down to it, okay? Now bear with me because I have a lot of equations to write. IG bar composite body. Okay, I'm going to do these in colors. So my top sphere here is 1. Okay. The mass moment of inertia for a sphere is 2 fifths times the mass, 0 0.55 kilograms times the radius, 800 millimeters squared. Okay, then I need to move it plus the mass times the distance I want to travel. And I did some uh, math here, and I find that from the bottom of my little snowman shape to the center of mass one is 5,680 millimeters. 
minus from the bottom to the composite mass center, 2,526.6 squared end bracket. So there is my first sphere plus dot, 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 because I am not going to fit all three on there. Second sphere, let's do this in blue, two. Okay, it has the same equation for the centroidal mass moment of inertia, two fifths of the mass, 1.21 times the radius, 1040 squared, plus its mass, 1.21 times the distance from its centroid to the composite centroid, which is 3,840 millimeters from the bottom of the entire composite body to the center of the middle sphere, minus 2526.6 squared, plus dot, 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 okay. I feel like I need to draw this, so I'm going to take a time out and draw what I'm talking about here, just in case you need the visuals, because I, I like visuals. So this distance right here is that 5,680 I was talking about. This distance right here, well, is the 3,840. And then the last distance we're going to need, which I'm going to do in green, right from the bottom is 1400 okay it's my habit to measure everything from the same datum okay so then we have this little bit here which is distance one and then we have this bit here which is distance two and then we have this bit ooh, this bit here which is distance three does it matter if it's above or below the, uh, the mass center? No, it doesn't because we're squaring it. So sign convention doesn't matter because it gets squared anyway. Okay, so still working with green, still has the same equation for mass moment of inertia about the sphere centroid, which is 2 fifths of the mass, 2.95 times its radius, 1400 squared plus the mass 2.95 times distance from its centroid to the mass center squared end bracket. Okay, so these three huge equations I'm going to add together to get the composite mass moment of inertia about the composite centroid which is a huge number, 142775. Seven, 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 it's a seven, getting excited, 775 seven, kilogram millimeters squared. Because remember, I did all these radiuses, radii, and distances in millimeters. So one, two, three, four, five, six. IG is equal to. Did I miss the number? One, four, two, oh, five, one. There was a one there because I got the answer is 14.3 kilogram meters squared for my mass center.